games as well. Mm. Um, but we're getting into the uh, the back end of what he's played in Alpha. Mm. I mean, who knows? Kind of he plays a lot on land. So might do. So too. Like Sumail should just trade. I feel like this Underlord, because of the Atrophy Aura, is gonna do slightly better. Yeah. Am I wrong here? Um, he hits You're hard. absolutely right, because he, he hits, hits really hard. a lot harder than the Void. Yeah. Alright, there's that, that's why we want to focus on this lane, because Siler is dead again. Or, again, no, no, uh, no. This is first time. First time. This tri lane though is really strong. Yeah. And it would have been even better if Crit would have gotten the last hit. True. They're gonna slow down uh, the farm of the Juggernaut. They're gonna rely on Sumail. Get a decent ish start at bottom as the courier. Oh, what? What? Huh? Where did that. It, it, he's picking up two minute hard bounty runes. Sure, why not? You know who's gonna. That's gonna make mad more than anything? Like freeze as in mid oh, fear. Fear gonna be blocked out. Great ice shards from oh, Fade. Sick ice shards. Okay, so they kind of recovered from it where it just blocks off the whole entire yeah. lane. For a second, it looked as if. I was like, oh, that's fine. Viper's just gonna walk through. Oh, snag him. Gets him again. Time to get the static link. So Fear can do nothing but fight Freeze for his life. And he is quickly gonna run out of damage here. Snowball picked up. Roll on to Fear. They'll be able to finish him off. And Crit does certainly does not have the damage to challenge Freeze. That one hit. Brooklyn comes out. They able to just walk it off. Yeah. I think Sumail might just hit six and go top. Yeah. Maybe they chrono, get a kill on Silar, and then they rotate the lanes out. That would be like they wanna they wanna give the the Luna some recovery time eventually, right? It's the levels really. The snowball in, they're gonna be able to get the spin onto Arteezy, then throw the sleep out into the ancient apparition as well. Telekinesis is down, Arteezy's trying to make his way through the trees, but being blocked in by BGJ Thunder, so oh. he will die here. Tried to go for a tree block, not gonna happen. Gonna now more. Crit gonna be caught as well, actually. Ice shards, TP out, it's gonna be close! Not close enough. Great ends up going down. And Misery trying to trade hits there. Maybe if Arteezy was able to juke for a little bit longer, they would have found an angle, but now Misery gonna get jumped on here. Siler doesn't feel comfortable about committing to this as he's gonna trade sleep targets as DDC gets a double kill and transition them so smoothly because Ice 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 always kept that bottom and oh, top DDC lane. DDC wants to fight in the top lane. They've already got the snowball into Misery, so they are quickly gonna take him out of this equation now. He already got the chilling touch out, but I doubt EG can really fight this too well. They're gonna be able to kill Fate. Oh, the sleep actually goes out. That stalls everything up. Taking off the sleep is gonna be crit. Now they turn, going for DDC. RTZ does not... Actually, no, he does have a new coming up. Just got the mana for it. Throws it onto Siler. Just trying to get as much damage on the VGJ Thunder as possible, punishing. Not going to be the easiest of kills as... Yeah, Fade already yeah. popped the smoke on a crit. Now he's oh. going to find a kill for it. Crit, no real way out of this one. Throws the Mizzard stun on a freeze. Still keeps the static link though. DDC, oh, the ice shirt! They got the sleep out a little bit too late too. Are they going to try and run him down anyway? Uh, they tried. And Fade, but Sumail is fine here. Either of these laners to leave. Yeah, you remember when you were like, I'll probably pick up level 6, use that early Chronosphere. Nope. And that's always the philosophy with these voids, right? Chronosphere's off cooldown, find a place to use it. Well, not the case here. He just watches Misery die in the top lane, says, thanks for the space, buddy. I'm going to keep at no boots. He is fully committed to this farm line. Oh, so no, managed to get a stun on the Yang. The Yang is tanky, though. He's got a Vanguard. That is four levels of Time lock. He's got to be a little bit careful about that and at least respect that the damage smoke up. An early rotation from Siler. Gonna find the kill on a fear here as long as they get the Omni Slash out and it stays on a fear, which it does. They'll get the kill without Freeze dying. Drop a little low, but he gets away. Oh, at bottom, they do go for it. All right, Chronosphere up and that is kill on the Underlord. With the help of Misery, it's just enough. Don't discount. It's one of their side lanes is winning. And similar to the Bane. 
Ancient Apparition has a very critical level 6 telekinesis. Toss back down with the Eclipse. They're going to go for this kill, but a Nightmare managed to buy a little bit of time, plus the Brains have the Snowball. DDC trying to get away. Another new comes out from Marteze, but it's not enough. DDC. Bottom lane has still gone very well for Samil. Great, you're going to have to do some fancy shenanigans. Good use of the spin, but DDC has Fiend Script, so eventually the spin will wear out here. Oh, Freeze comes in with the last second plasma of the field. One. But he's no. farming so well. Yep. Wouldn't, wouldn't you just be like, I am the carry now? Go for Shadow Blade or something? Oh. All right, well, they're just going to go for the kill onto Yang. And Yang he's definitely mega dead, dead with the Ice Blast, so. Oh, man, and, and Krimin, the sacrificial carry for a long time now. Somebody's got a good game. The male going to be caught here. Time dilation now. Ice Blast forward as well, but the Fiend's Grip holds him in. Great gank there from BG. Grab the mid tower with the help of Sumail as Freeze now going to rotate in. He should stop all of these shenanigans. Okay, but they got to get this kill fast because there is going to be a Sumail Chrono coming in soon. They are going to be able to get this kill onto the top. Siler is going to be able to run down Arteezy. There's the Void Chrono Sphere with gear here as well. So they're going to be able to pick up both these kills and slow down Siler. He goes for the TPL. He gets, out, gets bashed immediately on the slash. Oh, no, the way. Siler. That's not going to do damn thing. Yang. Yang, get out of he there. He is next on the chopping block, and you say get out of here. I'm not sure how the hell he's going to do what that. He used Dark Rift. He used TB. He's dead. So and is the tower. So okay. is everything. One lane. See, the damage just came too slow. They may have killed Arteezy, but they just took so much damage in return. The fact that Misery got off that Ice Blast was really important yes. for the follow-up And here. up the top, they're going to get another kill. Wow, they managed to take out Siler. They're in a perfectly fine position, and then Siler dies again yeah. after that. That was a bad three minutes of Dota for DDC. them. DDC, you can't really feed script here. That is a troll who's going to be able to catch you with the ensnare. Tries to get up a brain staff, but he's already hit by the ice blast. So that's not going to do a whole lot. Freeze now going to oh, be slowed down. He is actually dead. Excited. He may be taking a lot of damage away from Fear, but they are slowly but surely chipping away. He's going to lay that damage into Fear. The Omni Slash actually kills him. Freeze will still end up dying, though. The poison was going to be enough. on him here. Fade going to throw out the ice shards, but a failed kill attempt means that. Don't want to hit. Oh, top. Yep. There is the Chronosphere. That's what they were really afraid of this whole entire time, man. Finally, they show it. Both these. It's hard for DDC to get his ult off, but they're gonna smoke. Go for a play. They're gonna run into Luna here. This would be a perfect setup if they can actually get this quick kill. Manage to get him knocked up in the air with the Walrus Punch. They should be able to finish him off. Now, Samel goes for the back he line. Deal enough to get the Chronosphere, but not enough, nearly enough, to be able to finish off anybody here. They've already taken out the Rubik. Now, Manage to get him to the high ground, but Arteezy. Oh, Manage to get him with the Snowball pickup onto Freeze. That means with the Razor, they might be able to get the kill, but the TP out is going to be good enough. So, Arteezy does manage a good opportunity. Now, they're going to go for a fast Dark Rift play to bottom. Oh, I love this. This is a cool play. See if they can actually get a kill. Yeah, they definitely found Misery. He managed to get off the Ice Blast. Now, Sumail's uh, faceless void. He used some of these towers. All their tier ones, well, except for the safe lane one. The important ones were made. And so it's hard to invade if you're Beach oh. J Thunder. They are going to be able to get the Ice Shard block. Crit. Knocked off by the Ball Punch. And. Pretty decent amount of farm as Fade pushing forward. If they can hit him out into the ice shard, locked in. Now fear gonna be caught by Fiend's Grip as nice well on the slash. All right, just throw everything at him. They need to just find pickoffs and immediately transition into objective bottom. I like this TP. Take advantage of that as Misery's king right now. The Chrono's gonna oh, come no. out. They've got the extra damage from the Ice Blast. That is what they need now. Yang does have a pipe, but it's not gonna be enough to save. Oh my God, is he in this? He's ticking, but it's not going to be enough. He will actually survive through this. Now Samael trying to outrun this one. Caught by the Pit of Malice. Goes through the TP out. He is fine. The bottle But Misery is. will not be as uh, fortunate. Nice plays from Vici. They're just starting to speed up a little bit. Attack. They do get any sort of pick off or team fight. It'll oh. lead straight into Roche, and they spotted DDC. They are going to be able to grab him with the telekinesis. Pit of Malice is out there. They are going to be able to get the Chrono Sphere into the back line, catching Yang. Ice Blast on top of him with the Eclipse. They're going to be able to take two here pretty easily. Evil Geniuses are still maybe getting into a nasty fight, though. Fear, he's going to be the first one down from the Omni Slash. They took a little bit of damage. Pick him up with a Snowball. They've caught Misery as well. So, two for two trade-off with a buyback out from Yang.
No, uh, no clips for 20 seconds. So BGJ Thunder, this could actually be a decent fight if they can get on top. No, Sumail. So oh, managed to get a Chrono Sphere. Holding up to the Razor who got off his VKB anyway. Fade's going to try and stall up as much as possible. Sumail making sure he can't actually get away with Siler already dead. Or managed to get a kill on Fear, sorry. Sumail so is going to be able to time walk out. So unfortunately for VGJ Thunder, they didn't really get... Light edge in favor of gold going the way to Vici, but... Team fight presence from both teams yeah, very strong. They they're going to join us here on Siler, and they've got the that big disable. Two with a Void Aghanim Scepter. Oh, all right, so Sumail is the man to watch. Yang, he's just going to position himself forward here, try and make himself a target as best as possible, but Sumail found the opening in the back line. They have to get the two, Fade, both supports are already going to be down with the BKB pot. Now Siler's just going to go straight for the Luna, see if he can actually get a good position here for the Omni Slash. Doesn't quite get him, but a tough buyback. And to control up the Luna, now they throw down the Omni Slash, and that's certainly going to be enough damage. Push down the waves. Mm -hmm. Like, Misery, remember when he was just down bottom? Yeah. You go deal with him, but it doesn't transition into anything this All time right. around. Just go straight back to the high ground real quickly before EG can mount up. They'll take that tier 3 side. It's going to be a bit slowed, but EG are... I like this. And like you talked about, like, the positioning this time around, they've got the mid wave constantly moved oh. in. Positioning to go again. Jump force from Freeze. Managed to get the Scythe of Ice onto the Ancient Apparition. Going to be locked in by the Chronosphere. Now DDC managed to get in the back line. Grabbing onto the Faceless Void. Arteezy is just going to try and lay that damage into Freeze, but he pops the BKB. Gets out with the Glimmer Cape. Siler jumping in. Back up. Thinking about this one with the Eclipse going down, but there is going to be Siler challenging him with the Scythe of Ice. No! A counter feed script thrown out by Crit. Arteezy, he may end up falling down here, but he's fighting through all of this. He managed to take down the Underlord as well. Taking down bit by bit. The Spirit Vessel is not going to be enough, but Faith in another one, and finally they do manage to bring him down. Siler, he lost his ages, but double buybacks coming up both Freeze and Yang. They're gonna go for it. They're gonna go for the high ground push here. See if they can force something out with a nice block and with the ice shards. They managed to caught here. He goes for the four staff away from all this one, but Freeze gonna try and chase him down with the snowball. They will be able to get that one. He does not have buyback, even if our tour does. This buyback, they really want to get Rax out of this minimum. Both cores came back for this. BGJ so far have shown that they are willing to use the aggressive buybacks in both games to head. Oh, they went for the side to fight for the Chrono Sphere. They're going to back the Omni Slash. They need to be able to blow up our easy snowball. now underneath the Osir Force, but there goes the Chrono Sphere. Landed down, but once it's faded, they're going to be able to go for the Lunar Kill anyway. It looks like he's just going to take out from the side fight as well as the Underlord Firestorm. Samael could not save his carry, now has to go back to found, almost dies. Again from that Spirit Vessel, which is having so much value. He's dead for two minutes, and now it's going to be crit falling as well. Double buybacks out, but these are the last of the buybacks, and BGJ Thunder are in full control of this best one and of Evil Genius's base. Samael throwing down the buyback, tries to pop the BKB, and fighting Fade, a support. Well, at least Ruby's going to be able to pick that one up. DDC's quite low as well. Crit stealing everything he can. Managed to get Omni Slash steal? That could be big, especially with the Blink Dagger thing he has. Ice Blast is going to fail. Hardcore committing to trying to end this game right now. They're going to get another chance as this bottom wave, Ichi J, they're waiting for somebody to show on the side of EG to... They see it, they see it, oh, like, oh, they're defending the melee racks, guys, they're going to be out of position. Moving forward, Yang with the heart, he's going to make his way. Hit him with the double damage, take that melee racks, that's going to be two. Yeah, that's going to net them no vision. Yeah, you're going to play around your vision. And Arteezy gonna find the illusion route. Yang. Dual Scepter throws him up in the air. Really wants to be able to pick up. Okay, they go for this. Chronosphere already down with the Fiend Script. Up to Mail, the BKB. And they got the Amtis on the Fade. Now they're gonna throw down the Eclipse, but most of this damage is gonna be tanked up. Freeze with the BKB. Stolen crit from the Fiend Script. Managed to bring him down, but Siler is trying to go he for Arteezy. He just can't lay into him, so they managed to go for the Dark Rift. They need to get out of here. They're going for the target on Yang. Dual Scepter makes sure he survives and gets back to the base. And now oh. we reset once again. This Evil is, geniuses. This is the downside of just going for those like YOLO buybacks that VGJ. Is VGJ Thunder going to be able to read this? Is Yang going to be in a position once again to be able to block this? They've got the ward down Siler. Samael jumps forward. He spotted him. Managed to get Siler. That's going to be a huge kill. They can actually get it. It looks like they should. They've already blown him up with the Dark Rift. They're going to try and get out a full retreat, but it's only going to be able to save two of them. He's, in fact, going to go for the Boots of Travel. It's now their turn to try to end this game. 
DGJ Thunder, they need to find a way to be able to slow this down. They have no Dark Rift to get to the bottom lane. At least that bottom lane They've is They've got to be careful, though. There's Chrono. Oh, Chronosphere already out. They're going to be able to get the jump in. Fiends Grip right as well from Crit. Locking down Freeze. They can't afford to They're lose their the core, but he is too. definitely dead. Yeah, he can't stop this with the Pit of Malice. And Evil Genie is just tearing apart these tier fours. Oh, the my. buybacks aren't going to make a difference. They're just going to go straight for the throne. Yang in the back line. Time dilated. Artisi not worrying about it. He's just hitting the throne as much as possible. Freeze trying to stop it with Scythe of Ice, but he has no damage to be able to threaten these heroes of Evil Geniuses. Just overwhelm BGJ Thunder, who came so close to beat Evil Geniuses this time around in the best of one, but it wasn't good enough. That was one of the better...